PDP are unrepentant gangsters, has thiefing spirits, dangerous to vote into power, says Femni Fani Kayode. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress APC, Femi Fani Kayode, has said it will be dangerous to hand over power to the People's Democratic Party PDP. Fani Kayode also said the party is led by shady and unreliable people who are only interested in scamming the Nigerian state and plundering its resources. His statement is contained in a post via his verified Twitter handle on Tuesday. The former Minister of Aviation insisted that the PDP has a thiefing spirit and no fear of God, claiming it will be disastrous to let them into power. He wrote, The PDP are a coven of shape lifting reptilians, blood sucking demons, end time reprobates, bomb sucking perverts, unrepentant gangster, self serving carpet beggars, incorrigible rogues, and thiefing spirits who have no fear of God. They are a congress of violent psychopaths, psychopathic monsters, murderous malcontents, malicious malevolent, primitive frosters troubled losers and dark and frustrated souls whose motto and battle cry is share the money. They are the missing link, half ape and half man. They are the Neplulium, the products and the offspring of an unholy union and godless copulation between fallen angels and the daughters of men. Worse still, they are led by a shady, unreliable, duplicitous, ruthless, tre treacherous, self-observed, vicious, parasitic, desperate, drug-dealing, non-binary, and conflicted boy lover who has spent his life living off and scamming the Nigerian state and plundering our resources. The most dangerous thing that we can do is to hand over Nigeria to such people. Oh my God. Talk about a man having a very caustic tongue. Talk about a man who can express himself with so much toxicity and you're talking about Femi Fani Kayode. If someone can sit down and just spew out all these negative attributes about someone, then you should know that inside the person, the person has more than 10 times of such attitudes or traits. You remember, he's just getting out of an event where he alleged that Atiku Abubakar had a meeting with seven military officers. And he was invited over by the DSS. For someone to come out as a spokesperson of an opposition to make such a huge allegation against another presidential candidate, that person must have evidence to back it up. However, when the DSS got Fanny Kayode, then he came out and said he regretted what he said because he didn't mean it and he should have been... Um, wiser with the use of his words about that particular event so how can you just sit down somewhere hear something as huge as that he was not allergic he wasn't insinuating he said it clearly that Atiku was having a meeting with military officers meaning that Atiku was planning a coup so after his meeting with the DSS he became humbled and came online he was a bit sober and everything but we knew it was just for a moment because now he's back hitting um, the PDP this time around with such, such heavy and toxic words. Very, very um, ungentleman adjective, if I can use that word, because you can't just sit down imagining something, somebody who is as exposed as Femi Kayode, as educated as he is, just start throwing words around like that. If that is what this election period is about, so why are we wasting our time? If somebody can just sit down, of course you can critique some your opposition, that's your job, but not to sit down and start saying they are this, they are that. Even just seeing the words alone is just, it's, it's, it's toxic, very, very toxic. And that's a spokesperson that has been doing a yeoman work for the APC. And this MPDP that is tongue lashing at, it was his own safe haven several months ago. He was so whatever about PDP that he said, 
over his dead body would he ever join APC. On national television, he vowed. But what did we see? Several months after, when he was dealing with issues with court for fraud allegation, in the midst of it, which he's still in, he now cross carpeted to the APC. So you're the same person. Even if you want to crit uh, critique the other side, that means you've been one of them. You've once exhibited all these characteristics and you've carried it, the venom into another party. So I think our spokes, our can presidential candidates should speak to their spokesperson to say, you know what? You need to use words with sense. There's m so much Nigerians are contending with right now than from some mature men's inability to use, to criticize constructively because he's going to get into trouble again. He's always getting into trouble with his use of words. And he and Dino has had so many episodes of shows of shame on social media platform, calling themselves out directly, naming themselves, giving bad attributes to themselves. And I'm thinking, what is wrong with these old men? If young people are the ones doing this, they'll say, oh, it's youthful exuberance. But men in their 50s and 60s, it doesn't really cut it. And Nigerians are wiser. This is not the time you start calling people names like that. Talk about the issues you're having with them. Talk about what you have evidence about. Or even if it's something trending, talk about it. Critique it in a sensible manner. Not to come out and start using such highly toxic words. So we hope Femi Faneka Yode will not get into trouble again in his usual characteristics of spewing lots of, you know, unacceptable words. What's your opinion on this? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. See you in the next news. May God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.